Hello class 5-3, Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period three on Tuesday, January 21st, 2021. I hope you all had a nice weekend and are doing safe and well. We are going to continue on pages 143 and 144. This was the activity we started on Fridays. Um, in Friday's lessons, dealing with possessive pronouns, okay? So we learned a possessive pronoun can replace a possessive noun. We also learned to use these possessive pronouns before nouns. My, your, his, her, its, our, their. Finally, we learned to use these possessive pronouns alone. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, theirs. For our activity, the directions were to circle the correct possessive pronoun in the parentheses. We did the first four together. Now let's look at numbers five through 10. Number five, some of us are using our imaginations to create interesting animals. Number six, my animal is a green tiger with wings. Number seven, I colored its wings purple. Remember, we don't use IT apostrophe S because that's a contraction, okay? Number eight, David says, your drawing is the best. Number nine, we like yours a lot too. And finally, for number 10, I told Sola hers is very colorful. And here are your answers for the activity on page 143. Once you've checked all of your answers, let's turn to page 144. Okay, so let's continue. This was our proofreading activity. Okay, so let's just review. We have learned a possessive pronoun takes the place of a possessive noun. It shows who or what owns something. We have learned some possessive pronouns are used before nouns. These include my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. Finally, we learned some possessive pronouns can stand alone. These include mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. For the activity, we had to rewrite this journal entry, and we had to be sure to correct the pronouns and nouns. We did the first few sentences together. Let's continue. Her showed us an unusual carousel in the park. That should be she showed us an unusual carousel in the park, okay? She showed us an unusual carousel In the park. The octopus had two heads. That's okay. 
We'll simply rewrite. Okay, the octopus had two heads. The zebra was plaid. The lion was green. These are fine. No mistakes, so just simply rewrite. The zebra was plaid. The lion was green. She explained that the carousel's animals were all designed by local kids. Okay? The carousel, this is a possessive noun, so we need an apostrophe here. There you go. Now let's rewrite this sentence. She explained that the carousels animals were all designed by local kids. Tracy pointed out how the artist's signature is engraved beneath each animal. We need a comma here to make artist a possessive noun. Okay. So Tracy pointed out how the artist's signature is engraved beneath each animal. There we go. And that completes the paragraph on this proofreading activity, okay? Once you have finished everything, now it's time to look at today's lesson. We are on pages 145 and 146 today. This is our test on possessive pronouns. Please listen and read along as I read the directions and each sentence. Part A. Write yes if the underlined word is a possessive pronoun. Write no if the underlying word is not a possessive pronoun. Number one. Milo Motola asked kids in his neighborhood to design the carousel. Two. The kids became Motola's art students. Three, he chose 32 of their drawings for the actual carousel. Four, all the students hoped that one of theirs would be chosen. Five, the artist's signature was engraved beneath each of the animals. Once you have finished, please look at part B. Write yes if the underlying word is the correct possessive pronoun. 
right know if the underlying word is not the correct possessive pronoun. Number six. Our class took a trip to an amusement park. Seven. My favorite ride is the roller coaster. Eight. Kara said that hers is the water slide. Nine. George said his is the carousel. Ten. I said I would try their favorites if they would try mine. When you have finished part one of the test, please turn to page 146 for the last part. Let's review. A possessive pronoun takes the place of a possessive noun. It shows who or what owns something. Please remember, some possessive pronouns are used before nouns. These include my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. My pencil. His book. Your water bottle. Our classroom. Also remember, some possessive noun pronouns can stand alone. These include mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. Whose pencil is this? It's mine. Whose pencil sharpener is this? It's hers. For this part, you need to read each sentence. Then write each one with the correct possessive pronoun. Please listen as I read each of the 10 sentences. One. What is yours favorite thing to do on a vacation? Two, mine family visits a different theme park every summer. Three, Sam has his own idea of the perfect theme park. Four, there would be only roller coasters in his. Five, Sandra said that her would have water rides and a zoo. Six, I would have a mix of everything in mines. Seven, that ride is fun because of its fast speed. Eight, next vacation, my sister and I will visit our favorite theme park. Nine, what will you do on your... 10. The Johnsons go to the beach on theirs vacation. Okay, so make sure you find the mistake in the possessive pronouns and write the sentences correctly. That's it. Good luck on your test. And before you start the test, make sure you review all of these points again.
Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to email Mr. Waterman at any time. I will see you back in class on Thursday where we will go over the correct test answers. Good luck, take care, stay safe, be well, and enjoy the rest of your day studying. Bye-bye for now.